It's been more than two years since the St. Pete Pier closed down, and now after numerous debates and meetings, the top design's finally been picked to replace that aging, iconic structure. But the Pier Selection Committee's top choice is not the favorite of the public. New at 6, ABC Action News reporter Jason Beisel explains what's going on in this debate. In a 5 to 1 vote, the Pier Selection Committee ranking Pier Park as their top design. Destination St. Pete Pier ranking second, a design the public ranked first earlier this year. Politicians and the people who are choosing aren't listening to the people. An opinion echoed on her Facebook page, one writing, once again, they did not listen to what the people are saying. Another writing, do you ever do what the people ask? Seems they always do what they want. We moved here because we were coming downtown so much and we were excited about what was going to happen out there. I'm not excited anymore. Now the process heads to City Council on May 7th. Pier Park designers will ask for a contract to build. They came to a pretty logical decision. Councilman Nurse supporting the committee's decision. I think in some respects you sort of combine, you know, what is popular opinion combined with some more expert opinion. Other council members voicing their opinions on Twitter. Darden Rice tweeting, I could not be more delighted than to vote yes for Pier Park. Amy Foster writing, congrats Pier Park, let's build a pier. So now it seems St. Pete could finally see a new pier in the future. One that'll include an outdoor lawn with room for small concerts, a new structure, covered walkways and more. That's if the design gets over its next hurdle with City Council. I don't know if they know what they're doing, but I suspect they do. But you begin to wonder after this is the second time. The decision now goes to the City Council. If they approve the committee's rankings, then they'll begin negotiations with the Pier Park design team. If not, well, this whole process starts all over again. In St. Petersburg, Jason Beisel, ABC Action News.